2022 has been a challenging year for global financial markets, particularly the cryptocurrency market. What lessons have been learned? Crypto's recent woes have echoes in the past, from long-term capital management to the 2008 financial crisis. This is V-Circle Future. In this episode, we'll explore the rise and fall of cryptocurrency between 2021 and 2022. Recall history and find what we can learn from it. At the end of the video, we will provide expectations for 2023. There has been a high level of investor interest in cryptocurrency assets in recent years. This is evident in the all-time highs reached by Bitcoin and Ethereum, the rapid growth of decentralized finance protocols, the market capitalization of the crypto sector surpassing $2 trillion, and the expansion of the non-fungible token market. Favorable economic policies have encouraged risk-taking and speculative investment. Venture capital firms have invested heavily in a variety of crypto businesses. Centralized finance exchanges, also known as CFI, have also seen significant growth as they offer investors attractive yields that can be hard to come by in traditional financial markets. The creators of decentralized finance, known as DeFi, have gained the trust of investors through their use of algorithmic projects for risk management, similar to the quant experts who developed CDSs and CDOs prior to the 2008 financial crisis. Decentralization, Web3, NFT, all these hot words has helped to fuel a speculative mindset among the broader crypto investor community and led to promises of high returns by lenders and borrowers. The hype was every bit as feverish as the one that fueled the 1990s dot-com frenzy. Imagine a popular story at that time, you were looking for new opportunities to grow your wealth when your friends told you about a popular CFI platform that they had been using for several months. They claimed to have earned impressive returns on their investments and invited you to join them. Intrigued by the recommendation, you decided to invest a small amount of money into the platform to see how it would perform. To your surprise, things seemed to be going well and you started to see some returns on your investment. Encouraged by this initial success, you decided to invest more money into the platform and the cryptocurrency market. As you continue to invest, you hope to see your wealth grow even further. Does this scenario sound familiar? At that time, many new cryptocurrency projects have gained significant attention and traction, including the Terra ecosystem, which includes the algorithmic stablecoin UST and the Luna cryptocurrency. The Terra ecosystem has experienced tremendous growth in recent years, with UST's market capitalization increasing from $180 million at the start of 2021 to more than $15 billion in March 2022, and Luna's price skyrocketing by 138-fold. Many traders, institutional investors, and speculators have entered leveraged positions by borrowing money at low rates, which has contributed to the excitement in the cryptocurrency markets. The excitement and enthusiasm surrounding the potential of new technologies can sometimes lead to a distorted mindset that downplays or ignores the risks of investing in those technologies. This pattern has been seen in numerous financial blow-ups throughout history, including the collapse of long-term capital management LTCM, in 1998, the dot-com bubble burst in 2000, and the global financial crisis of 2008. Gen Z and millennial investors who dominate the crypto community are too young to hold meaningful memories of these crises, which may seem like ancient history stories for them. But for those who have been around the block a few times, these are stories that still send a shiver down the spine. As central banks started to tighten monetary policy and reduce market liquidity, the growth of speculative asset classes slowed. The increase in interest rates made lower-risk investments more attractive, causing the prices of riskier assets to decrease. The cryptocurrency market was not immune to this trend, and by the end of Q2 2022, its market capitalization had fallen by over $1 trillion. This sell-off was exacerbated by the unwinding of leveraged positions. Many promising projects, such as Terra, saw their fortunes change as traders exited the crypto markets. The UST stablecoin, for example, lost its peg to the US dollar, resulting in significant losses for investors and further downward pressure on the market. Luna experienced a steep decline, falling more than 97%. Fancy algorithm failed. It recalled us the LTCM crash in 1998. 
In its first three years, LTCM returned 21%, 42%, and 41% to its investors, respectively. When global panic led investors everywhere to sell everything and rush to all but the safest investments, LTCM came crashing to earth, with widespread fallout across Wall Street. Centralized finance institutions, or CFI, were disproportionately affected by the sell-off. Many of these institutions had lent significant funds to hedge funds such as Three Arrows Capital, which lost a large amount of capital following the Terra failure. As a result, Three Arrows and other leveraged hedge funds defaulted on their loans to CFI companies, which were forced to seek bankruptcy protection. This meant that user funds held on CFI platforms were frozen and retail investors were unable to access their money. Companies such as Celsius Network and Voyager Digital, which had promised attractive yields to users, also failed, leading to additional losses for investors. By the end of the summer of 2022, the cryptocurrency markets appeared to be stabilizing. The removal of leverage from the ecosystem had seemingly restored investor confidence. This renewed optimism was partly due to FTX, a large exchange and custodian that had intervened to rescue BlockFi, a major SuFi lender, from bankruptcy. FTX, led by founder Sam Bankman-Fried, continued to invest in crypto companies and bail out struggling startups, earning a reputation as the strongest player in the industry at that time. This confidence in the crypto markets persisted until a November Coindesk article revealed disturbing information about FTX and its sister company, Alameda Research. Binance CEO Chan Peng Zhao promptly and publicly voiced concerns about FTX's solvency and the sustainability of its self-issued token, FTT. Traders began withdrawing funds from FTX, and the price of FTT fell from around $26 to $1 in just a few days. FTX was eventually forced to pause customer withdrawals. It was later revealed that FTX was insolvent, having mixed customer deposits and funds funneled money to Alameda. The company filed for bankruptcy protection in late November. Federal prosecutors called the stunning collapse of FTX one of the biggest financial frauds in American history. Soon after, the previous bailout of BlockFi was reversed, sending the company back into bankruptcy court. The crash of FTX and the broader crypto contagion spread, money continued to leave the market. There were many lessons to be learned from these events, but one important lesson was that even the most advanced technology and data analysis can be crashed in black swan moments of market-wide panic that disrupt normal mean reversion patterns. Another lesson is that it's not possible to outmaneuver the leverage cycle. This is a lesson that investors in traditional finance have had to learn and relearn over the past 25 years as digital technology and data science have become more prevalent on Wall Street and have periodically fueled periods of excessive debt-fueled speculation. Fraud, theft, and irresponsible lending and leverage trading have created a challenging environment for investors, which many believe could have been prevented with proper government oversight and regulation. As we enter the new year 2023, investors should be aware that the current macroeconomic environment, characterized by a lack of global growth, an uncertain geopolitical landscape, and an overall gloomy economic outlook. A lack of confidence in the cryptocurrency market will likely continue to pose significant challenges for the sector, capitalizing on opportunities in this volatile environment may be difficult, but could potentially yield significant returns over the long term. Unclear Regulatory Frameworks Although, U.S. Congress has already taken steps towards this goal by introducing more than 50 bills related to regulating digital assets and blockchain technology. One of the key challenges facing cryptocurrency regulators is determining the appropriate jurisdiction for these assets. However, so far, efforts to regulate cryptocurrency have been hampered by ongoing disputes among regulatory agencies. It's worth noting that the failures and bankruptcies that have occurred in the cryptocurrency space in 2022 have not been caused by flaws in the underlying blockchain technology. In fact, technical development in the sector has continued to advance and this year has been a major milestone for many blockchains. For example, Ethereum successfully upgraded to a proof-of-stake blockchain and underwent significant changes to its tokenomics, which many believe will benefit the future of the ecosystem. The growth of blockchain innovation and the adoption of its use cases are ongoing. 
In light of these developments, all investors should take the time to review their cryptocurrency portfolios, assess the reasons behind their crypto allocations, and create a plan for responsible investment moving forward. This is V Circle Future. Thanks for your watching.